also developing. All non-essential workers are being sent home from the Hanford nuclear site right now after a partial collapse of a tunnel earlier this morning. Many of those workers had been ordered to shelter in place. Cairo 7 Simney Kim spent the day monitoring the situation in eastern Washington. Simney? Steve, the main concern is spread of these contaminated radioactive materials. Officials say there's no evidence of a leak, but crews are still testing the area for contamination. A picture from the Department of Energy shows the 20-foot-long hole where a portion of a tunnel containing radioactive waste caved in this morning. It happened near the center of the Hanford site in the 200 East area. The tunnel is one of two that runs into the plutonium-uranium extraction facility, also known as Purex, which has sat idle for years. That's where employees this morning doing routine surveillance discovered um, some soil had... Uh, had, had uh, uh, given way. Energy Secretary Rick Perry had been briefed that no one was hurt, everyone was accounted for, and there's been no contamination spread. I'm quite comfortable at this particular point in time with the information I have that uh, it's it's not a uh, an event that uh, um, a radiological uh, event that uh, is going to cause us uh, greater concern. Perry says he's working with Governor Jay Inslee to keep a close eye on the situation. In a statement earlier, Inslee said this is a serious situation and ensuring the safety of the workers and the community is the top priority. Hanford is the most polluted site in America. It's half the size of Rhode Island and the government has been working to clean up radioactive materials left over from the country's nuclear weapons program. Senator Maria Cantwell also released a statement today saying worker safety must be our number one priority and we need to understand whether there's been any environmental contamination resulting from the subsidence of these tunnels. And it's still not known what caused the roof to cave in. Simi Kim, Cairo 7 News. 5 News. A highly unusual emergency at the Hanford nuclear site for the first time in years. Hanford activated its emergency operations center at 8.30 this morning after a massive tunnel collapse. The entire site was on lockdown and then eventually evacuated. Although no one was hurt, there is a present danger. King 5 investigator Susanna Frame broke the story this morning. She joins us live outside the Hanford nuclear reservation. Amanda, it's important to note right off the top that no one was inside that tunnel, but let me tell you what was in there and still is. 28 highly contaminated massive rail cars. They were used to shuttle toxic materials underground here at Hanford during the Cold War. Now, until this morning, they were safe. They were protected by a large wooden roof then eight feet of soil on top of that. But when that gave way and a big hole uh, came into the earth this morning, that's when the problems began. This zoom in from Sky King shows what looks like an innocent enough opening in the ground. But this breach, a collapsed tunnel, isn't innocent or safe. It has been and is an exciting day for Hanford. Uh, when they have to evacuate the whole site and declare a site emergency. And my understanding is they're still trying to get a handle on what's happening out there. Well, so it's either a drill or an emergency. This exclusive King 5 video obtained from a Hanford worker shows employees moving to safety, taking cover. Before take cover actions and secure building ventilation. Once inside buildings, they were told to not use outside ventilation or eat anything. It was unknown at that time if radioactive particles from that hole had spread into the air or onto people or food. This is Tom Carpenter from the advocacy group Hanford Challenge. This is absolutely a huge warning uh, to Hanford, to the federal officials who oversee that site and to the state of Washington. There are bad things at Hanford that could blow up, that could contaminate the communities be a three-state disaster. This close-up shows the top of what is most likely a dirt-covered rail car. It was never meant to be exposed to the outside. The tunnel is filled with hot, radioactive items that were taken by underground rail to this huge building during the Cold War. That's where workers processed plutonium, the deadly material used in the construction of nuclear bombs. Now this would have been a much, could have been a much different situation today 
if it would have been windy here in the Tri-Cities. And as you can tell, my hair's not moving around. It's very stagnant, no wind, and this can be a really windy spot. Here's the potential for danger. If, let's say, a 20 or 30 mile per hour wind gust comes through, it could form like a vortex and suck contaminated particles, radioactive particles, out of that hole and into the space. And so while that opening is still there, they are having people stay away. And tonight they have told night shift workers not to come to work. We're waiting to hear on what their plan is for tomorrow. I'm Susanna Frame reporting live near Hanford. And as Susanna was just explaining, this is just how tricky it is to work with radioactive materials at this huge facility, which has had ongoing problems and issues for decades. But today's collapse is one of many safety issues plaguing the site. Here's King 5's Ted Land. Well, let's take a look at the massive size of the Hanford site. It's 586 square miles, roughly half the size of the state of Rhode Island. And while it covers a huge area, much of the ongoing work at Hanford is in the middle, those dark gray boxes, the 200 west and 200 east areas. That's where crews are cleaning up the massive mess left behind by nearly five decades of plutonium production. That work left behind lots of contaminated equipment and buildings. There are also some under ground rail tunnels which were used to transport uranium fuel rods and were later used to store contaminated equipment and that's where today's collapse happened. This is different from the other big problems at Hanford which we've been covering for years. Elsewhere tanks like this are leaking radioactive waste and many people are worried about the impacts on the environment and on the workers at Hanford who are sometimes doing their jobs in very precarious conditions close to radioactive materials. The federal government has been working to clean up Hanford since 1987. Cleanup is expected to last the rest of this century and cost more than $100 billion. There's still no agreement on the best way to treat the liquid waste. One of the largest construction projects on the continent is at Hanford, where they're building a factory to process liquid waste into glass logs. So far, $14 billion has been spent on that project and doubts remain about its safety. There are also ongoing concerns about toxic vapors and aging structures like tanks and these tunnels. In the newsroom, Ted Land, King 5 News.